Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a bit of a spontaneous one. I went to TJ Maxx a few days ago to pick out a belt and I did not find a belt, but I did find some pretty awesome makeup products. So we're gonna be testing out some TJ Maxx makeup today. I've got some really exciting products here for you guys today, including some stuff from NARS, which interesting fact about me, I've never actually tried anything from NARS. I know, what kind of a beauty YouTuber am I, right? But I'm excited to give some of these things a try. I have an individual shadow from them. I have the Laguna bronzer that people have been talking about for decades it seems like. I also have one of their velvet lip glides and in addition to that I have a concealer from Too Faced, I have a highlighter from Laura Geller, and a setting spray from a very generic brand. So I hope that you guys are excited about this video. Any of you that are new to my channel, welcome. I hope that you'll stick around, hit the subscribe button, ring that little notification bell if you would like to be notified every time I upload. And now let's get into this makeup look. All right, so I've got everything laid out in front of me, and I noticed just now as I was opening up this individual NARS shadow, which I did check before I bought it, and it looked absolutely fine, totally brand new. It kind of had fallen out of the pan. I tried to press it back in a little bit. It'll still work fine, I'm sure, but the dangers of buying at Marshalls or TJ Maxx in action here today. But for today, I do wanna start off with our complexion first. Most of the products that I have are complexion products. I already applied foundation. Today I used my Sephora 10 Hour Wear Perfection Foundation. I also already put on my eyebrows. I used the Marc Jacobs Mini Brow Pencil. I'll link it down below if you're interested. We're gonna start things off with concealer. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Naturally Radiant Concealer. I just wanted to show you guys these two next to each other. This is the Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer, which I've talked about a lot. But just for reference for you guys, this concealer contains 0.5 fluid ounces of product, whereas this one contains 0.23 fluid ounces of product. That's not too bad, actually, for a smaller concealer. I mean, this concealer, nothing contains as much product as this thing does. This is almost like a foundation. It has so much product in it. But I think nearly a quarter of an ounce is pretty good for a concealer. So I want to read you guys just some of the claims on this thing. So I found this for $8.99 at my Marshalls. I will link the full price right here. But let me just read some of the claims for you guys. This says it is infused with coconut water to aid in delicately replenishing skin's moisture levels, alpine rose to help brighten and boost skin's radiance, and hyaluronic acid for a smoother, more youthful appearance. I do love hyaluronic acid, but it also says 100% of people experienced an improvement in levels of moisture in their skin after one hour. 97% said it provides a natural undetectable finish, 97% said it provides a smooth creaseless finish, and 97% said it provides a flawless no makeup look. So those are the claims of this concealer. The one I have is in the shade light medium. I'm hoping this will match me okay. My guess is it might be a tiny bit too dark for me, but we're just going to go ahead and give it a try. Yeah, I definitely think this is just a tiny bit too dark than I typically like, but I do think we'll be able to make it work. So I'm just going to apply this pretty much anywhere I need extra coverage and also underneath my eyes. I kind of want to tap this in with my finger just to feel what this feels like or reminds me of because it is supposed to be a more hydrating concealer. It does feel just a little bit tacky. In fact, it reminds me a little bit of the... It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye, but in, in a much more subtle way. It's not nearly that pasty and tacky, but it kind of reminds me of a cross between just a traditional concealer and that kind of concealer. I do really like that concealer. It just takes me a little bit longer to blend that one in. And this side I'm gonna take with the sponge just to see if maybe one way works better than another. I'm not sure I've ever heard anyone talk about this concealer though. I'm not really even sure how long this thing's been around. My guess is a while since it's at TJ Maxx. Usually stuff comes to TJ Maxx after either it's getting discontinued or if it's been around for quite a while. So far I like it. I think it feels really nice. I think it gives pretty good coverage. The shade match is not too bad. It isn't like a really heavy full coverage, but it did cover enough. You can see it covered these two little twin spots I've got going on on my chin. So I do want to set some things in place with a little bit of powder. I'm going to take this Wet n Wild Color Icon Powder and we're just going to take this on a powder brush and I'm just going to set the forehead right between my eyebrows. And I'm going to set just a little bit around my nose and on my chin area and a tiny bit more just on this cheek area just to get ready for bronzer. All right, you guys, so for bronzer, I found the NARS Laguna bronzer. Very excited about this. People have been talking about this bronzer since before YouTube really even began. This has been around. Oh, look how beautiful and perfectly packaged this is. It has a really pretty kind of 
herringbone design on it. Super excited about this one. Honestly, I've never really even looked into this bronzer. I don't know why I've never paid much attention to this one. I mean, I've heard people talking about it for years. I just never really considered probably because of the price point. I know Nars's products are even a little bit on the higher end of some high-end products, but I do know a lot of people love this bronzer, so I am very excited to try this out today. So let me just kind of swatch this with my finger. Feels very creamy, looks nice and like very neutral toned. Let's go with the e.l.f. complexion brush. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that on this brush and we're just gonna start putting that right on my cheekbones. Very pretty, very buildable, which I like a good buildable bronzer. The way this looks reminds me a little bit of the Too Faced bronzer, actually. It's very nice and firmly pressed in the pan, which I prefer. I prefer bronzers that when you go in with your brush, you don't get any powder kickback. I'm not totally sure why that is. I think it just kind of bothers me because I feel like I'm wasting product when I put my brush in there. Plus, I feel like I can't really evenly load it onto my brush. I have to be really careful. This one, you really can like build it up in your brush and very little product comes out. I know that sounds like a bad thing, but that's how I like my bronzers. That's how the Too Faced bronzer is for me, at least their original formula. Also how the Physicians Formula Butter bronzer is like that. The Milani Silky Matte bronzer is like that. Even the Marc Jacobs bronzer. Those are the kind of bronzer formulas that I usually prefer. I just like when I can be really heavy handed with my bronzer and kind of slowly build things up. I'm feeling pretty excited right now. I think this is gonna be a good addition to my bronzer arsenal. That is super pretty. Now let's go ahead and apply a little bit of highlighter. I'm gonna take this right here. This is the Laura Geller High Def Glow Illuminator Duo. I've never seen this floating around. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, the whole thing is totally shattered. What the heck? Disaster. I went to open it and it just came spilling out of here. I swear I checked this one before I bought it. Maybe I didn't. I think they had a pink color. Maybe I checked the pink color and I didn't check the gold. And I ended up going with the more gold version. Not quite sure what to do right now. Should we try and apply it anyways? I mean, I don't think I'll even really probably repress this thing because I just don't even think this color is gonna work for me. This is a disaster. It is like all over my pants. Maybe that's not too bad. We're gonna see what this highlighter can do. But again, buyer beware. If you go into TJ Maxx, I know it's probably frowned upon, but I would recommend taking it out of the package, if not before you buy it, immediately after you buy it, because this is definitely one I should have not bought in the first place. But I'm just kind of taking that off of my desk, literally, like the surface of my desk, onto my brush. We're just gonna try applying a little bit of this very messy highlighter on my cheekbones. I want this kind of lower, just almost like a bronzer topper because it is a darker color. We're gonna put it kind of right above where that bronzer was. In the back of my mind, I'm thinking to myself, well, scrap this video. I'm hoping I have some success with some of the other products and this video is not a total done. But this happens, guys. You buy makeup from Marshalls or TJ Maxx, and this is how it goes sometimes, <laughs> especially if you're not careful. I'm trying really hard not to be just super annoyed right now. I did only pay $5.99 for this, but still, that's $5.99. I have some really awesome drugstore highlighters that I could have gotten for close to that. It is a serious mess. I mean, I'm, let me just show you guys this. This is a utter disaster. It looked so perfectly untampered with in the box. Maybe I didn't feel compelled to open this one because it just looked so untouched. Usually the ones that are shattered kind of look, there's usually signs, but this one didn't have those signs. So maybe I didn't check this one. Maybe I just checked the other color that they had. Oh well. So I'm going to put a little bit kind of up on my brow bone too. So it looks really pretty. It's very gold. This is definitely not a highlighter that I'll be able to wear in the winter time, but it does look really pretty on my somewhat tan cheeks. Such a mess though. What to do now? <laughs> Where to put everything else? It is a mess down here. Maybe I'll draw another emoji face in this one too. Okay, so I wanna add just a little bit of blush. I'm just gonna take this. This is Lunar Has It by ColourPop. I'm just gonna add a little bit of that just right to the apples of my cheeks. So let's move on to the eyes. So I want to start off by going into back into the NARS bronzer. And I'm going to take my Morphe M504. I'm really going to load it up on this brush. And we're just going to start applying that right into my crease. My guess is I'll probably have to really build this up because it is a bit more of like a soft bronzer. I would love to know how many of you guys have tried out NARS Laguna. 
So I'm hoping at least two of these products work out for me because I did spend $50 at Marshalls. And I've got to say, this bronzer is a winner for sure. So far, unless it breaks me out or something. But still, I wouldn't have paid $50 for this bronzer. And I'm pretty sure it doesn't even retail for $50 full price. So I'm hoping at least one of these other products works out for me so I don't feel like I wasted $50 at TJ Maxx. So let me know again in the comments below how many of you guys are really into trying to find good deals at Marshalls and TJ Maxx on makeup and how many of you guys avoid, for reasons that you may have already witnessed in this video, buying makeup from there. Okay, so let's try out this little NARS mini eyeshadow. So I've heard really good things about NARS's single eyeshadows, but these things I think full price are ridiculously expensive. I'm not sure this color is really going to go with my other makeup today. It's kind of like a taupey silvery purple. It's really pretty though. Let me just swatch it for you guys really quick. I don't want to hold this thing upside down in case it falls out, but I'm not sure how this is going to look with everything, but we're going to try it out anyways. I'm just going to put on kind of the inner third, maybe inner half of my upper lid and cross our fingers that this isn't so pigmented that it clashes with the rest of my makeup today. I'm hoping it will kind of blend into this brown underneath. Normally I'd probably use something a little bit less warm toned with this. I'm also going to take just a tiny bit of that on. Kind of connect the inner corner on the top and the bottom right there. That is super pretty. This color with the soft and sultry palette would be so pretty. Or with the purples in the new Jackie Ina palette. Oh, that would be a pretty look too. I do think that's a really pretty shadow. I think I want to <laughs> break back into this dangerous little situation right here that once again is all covered in glitter that I just cleaned off. But I want to take a little bit of this and kind of overlap just the center part of it with this kind of gold. And I'm going to see if maybe we can get that to look a little bit less cool toned and blend a little bit better into the brown just in the center part mostly. I'll keep it kind of cool toned in the inner corner of the eye. Just not loving the purple with the warm brown bronzer. Okay, I think that's a little bit better. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add some liner. I'm just gonna line my upper waterline and my upper outer corner like I've done a million times. You guys see me do it in almost every video. Then I'm gonna add a couple of coats of mascara and I will be right back. All right guys, so there are the finished eyes with a little bit of liner, a little bit of mascara. I did also take this kind of flat smudgy brush and I added a little bit of bronzer just underneath the lower lash line just to kind of sort of give it more of like a blended smoky kind of look. So now it is time for my final product, lips. So this is the NARS Velvet Lip Glide. I got it in the color number 54. I think I might have heard Melissa Alatori mention that this was her favorite red lipstick, but I might just be making that up. I meant to kind of do some research and find out if this was the actual color. It may not be, but it is a nice, beautiful, slightly more orangey red, which you guys know how I feel about my orangey reds. Well, if you don't, I like them a lot. Let me quickly swatch this for you guys. This definitely feels on the hand like a gloss to me and it doesn't really dry down. So I'm, I'm a little nervous about this and my lines on my lips because I do have a couple of pretty pronounced lines on my lips that things like to travel inside of if I'm not careful, especially bright lip colors. So I'm gonna start off by lining my lips with this. This is the Bite Beauty Lip Pencil in the color 74. And now we're going to put this on top. And real quickly, just to set everything in place, I'm going to go in with this. This is a rose water and aloe setting spray. This is by the brand Giovanni. Don't know much about this brand, don't know much about this setting spray, but I love trying out setting sprays from TJ Maxx and Marshalls. So I'll give this a quick spray and then I'll be right back and we'll kind of assess everything. All right, you guys, so here is the finished look. I definitely don't think this inner corner color goes with this lip, but I do still think it's really pretty. I really wanted to try everything on regardless, and when you're at TJ Maxx, you don't have a lot of selection. When they have a NARS single eyeshadow for five bucks, you buy it. You don't really think about whether or not it's gonna match everything else. But I am really excited about it. I think with a different lip combination, I think with a different eye look altogether, I think I really will enjoy that thing. Absolutely thrilled with the bronzer. I think it's beautiful. It's definitely warm, but not too orange bronzer for me. I 
loved the formula of it. It's just how I like my bronzer formulas to be, very buildable. And I'm not gonna lie, you guys, I feel kind of fancy now that I own something from NARS. So I am excited about that. I also think the lip is beautiful. I don't really love it with this purple on the eye, but I think it's a perfect red lip color. Not so sure how this type of a lip product will wear for me again, because I do have some fine lines that I deal with around my lips. I'm not sure if this is gonna move around. I typically don't like my red lipstick to be in a transferable form. If I'm gonna wear a bold lip, I usually like to go with something that's a little bit more long wearing, like a liquid lipstick. But we'll see how this goes. I will try and keep you guys updated. Let me know if you guys have tried any of these out. I know a lot of people really love them. The concealer so far I'm very impressed with. I will keep you guys posted on how this works out for me. But yeah, I think for the most part, this was a success other than my little Laura Geller disaster, which you guys saw on camera. I think I will maybe give this one more shot. I'll probably clean it up and repress it and see how it goes. But I think even if this would have not shattered, it's still something I'm just not sure the color is perfectly right for me. I think this would be beautiful on the eyes, but I'm not going to keep a product this large around just to use as an eyeshadow. But that is it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. Please let me know your thoughts on TJ Maxx and Marshall's makeup in the comments down below. I always love hearing from you guys and chatting with you down there. Hope that you guys have a great day. If you are new to my channel, I hope that you'll stick around and subscribe. And I will see all of you guys in my next video. Bye. Mmm, smells like roses. There's glitter all over my face by the end of this video. I blame you, Laura. Just kidding. TJ Maxx. I blame you, TJ Maxx. I need to either fix this or throw it away because every time I open it, I think it's like leaking out this back section down here. I mean, this stuff, this is a mess. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear that outside, but there's a serious thunderstorm going on right now outside. Oh, I love a good thunderstorm.